welcome back. Well I think for the next few tutorials I'd like to talk about some of the fundamental differences between some of the lights which 3ds Max has to offer and also some of the rendering functions which are available to us. Now in order to create a light first of all we have to be in our create panel and have our lights selected. Now by default it shows us photometric and I only ever use photometric or V-Ray if I'm wanting to produce a single image which is high resolution, high definition and ultra realistic. And I actually find standard to be more than satisfactory for my needs and requirements. OK, so let's select standard. Now in our object type, here we can see that we've got several types of lighting. We've got target spotlight, free spot, target direct, free direct, omni, skylight, mental ray area omni and mental ray area spot. OK well to begin with I'm going to select omni. Now to create our light I'm going to go down to the quad viewport configurations here. Going into the left so right click and I'm just going to create that light simply by pressing the left mouse key there we've got it positioned there, right click in the top viewport I'm going to press W on the keyboard to select our select and move tool and let's just pull this over here and if you look down in our perspective viewport you can actually see the lighting moving around so there we go somewhere like that OK right click in our perspective viewport Alt W and let's get it up in full screen now the moment we created our light source let me just pull this down quite a few things happened in the background but two things in particular the first is that 3ds max's default light system was deactivated and the second was our light was added to something known as the light lister and that can be found up here in tools and here we are light lister and there we can see we've got our Omni Light, Omni One, and it shows us various attributes in relation to that light. Now, this is quite a good tool to use if you've got quite a few lights set up within your scene. Okay, so let's close that down. Now, as I've just said, the 3ds Max default lighting system was deactivated. Now, we can reactivate that by pressing control and L. There we go. So it's deactivated our Omnilight here and reactivated the default setting and of course we can turn that back or switch that back by pressing control L again. Now that we have our Omnilight set within our scene let's just move over to the create panel and start to take a look at it. OK, well, what are the main attributes of the Omnilight? Well, it's a point from which light is emitted in all directions. And that makes it ideal for things like light bulbs or as the sun, as we've used in the Messerschmitt scene. You know, if we don't have a screen freeze in these tutorials, I feel as though I'm being cheated these days. OK, well, moving on, let's have a look at some of the parameters. Now, we're not going to cover this in any great depth at the moment. We'll come back to this a little bit later on, but let's just have a very quick introduction. OK, so as I say, we've got the general parameters, our light type. Now, we've got Omni, and at the moment it's switched on. Down below we have shadows, and we can see that the shadow map is our default setting on this, but nothing's ticked at the moment. We have intensity, color, and attenuation. Here we can set the intensity of the light via the multiplier. It's set at 1 at the moment, but we could increase or decrease that as we required. To the side of this there is a colour swatch. Uh, the colour is set to white, so basically the light is white, but we can set that to any colour we so desire. Um, later on we'll be looking at the attenuation, the near attenuation and the far attenuation also possibly advanced effects 
and the shadow parameters there and the shadow map parameters and maybe uh, we'll look at the atmospheres and effects and at the moment we won't be really looking at the mental ray indirect illumination and the mental ray light shader okay well what I'd like to do now is pop back up to our create and back into our lights section we're still on standard and let's take a look at the target spot and free spot now to all intents and purpose the target spot and free spot are basically the same light except the target spot has the addition of a target section let's just select that for the moment and we'll pull up the quad viewports I'm going to left click in the left viewport here and just create a spotlight let's bring that down left click I'm keeping the left mouse key depressed and pulling that out and we'll set it down there right click over here and we'll go open this window to full in fact let me just pull this down do we on the keyboard let's bring this over a little bit and down a touch possibly somewhere there okay yeah that's a little bit better we can see what's happening now well straight away we can see that the light is a little bit different well quite a bit different from that of our omni light um, it emanates from this point here the source and it flows down and along this cone section that we have here now the target helper is this section down here and that's the difference between the target spot and the free spot is this helper down here so if I just press H on the keyboard here I can see I've got spot 001 and spot 001 dot target just select that one say OK now it's selected if I move that up and down you can see that we can actually change the position of our spotlight ok let's put that back down there and moving on to our target direct and free direct again similar to the direct spot and the free direct spot they are intrinsically the same as with the target spot it does have the additional target helper ok so let's select this one and pop back up into our quad viewports and I'm just gonna left click in the left and drag this one down about there right click in the perspective viewport and let's open this up a little bit okay well I'm gonna start by actually going up to tools here uh, light lister now here we can see that we've got our Omni 01, our Spot 01 and Direct 01. These square tabs here, this is showing me that this is the one which is selected at the moment. I'm just going to switch these off here. So that's the Omni and the Spot. OK, let's close that down for a moment. Well, now that we have our three main types of light set up in our scene, let's just take a quick look at a, a diagram which I created earlier. Here we have our Omni light, our Spotlight and Direct light. Now with our Omni and Spot, light actually radiates from a single point in space. With the Omni it radiates in all directions. With the Spotlight this radiates from this point here but in a conical fashion. Now Direct light is quite different from both the Omni and the Spot in as much as the light rays actually travel parallel to each other from their individual points of origin so what does all this mean well it means that each light has its own set of characteristics which we will explore a little bit later on and it means that we can use them for certain things for example the omni light we could use as a bulb and as we've used well as the sun the spotlight that can be used as a spotlight a flashlight or a car headlight and the direct light because of its qualities and its characteristics 
we could actually use that as the sun okay so we've got the omni the spot and the direct light but what about the skylight well, let's close this down for a moment now the skylight if we just select that and all I'm going to do is left click here in the viewport and I don't know if you can see that let's go W pull that up a little bit there now the skylight should never really be used on its own because what it does is provides a surrounding light let's have a look at this diagram here as we can see the light comes from all directions and as a result it can actually produce softened even illumination it helps remove those sharp edges so as I say it should never be used on its own but in conjunction with one or a combination of these other lights here let's just take a look as a bit of an example pop into tools light lister let's turn off the sky let's close this down let's do a render okay this is our direct light let's close this down go to tools light lister turn on our sky and let's do another render now look at how it's helped soften the image here ok let's close that back down and finally we have the metal ray omni and the metal ray area spot which are basically the same as the omni and the spots here um, they do have a couple of additional features which are basically designed to work with the metal ray renderer so we'll take a look at those as well a little bit later on okay well I think we'll call that it for this session and I'll catch you later